Bad Servo here. So uh, I just realized that yesterday uh, when I did my second travelogue video um, that although I posted it to YouTube, I completely and utterly forgot to put the link up on my social media. So uh, when I finish this, if I'm able to get it uploaded, you're going to get a double helping of nonsense. And uh, nonsense it is. Things have not gone well for our heroes. So uh, at the end of the previous video, I was saying that uh, the family was wanting to drive out to Cocoa Beach, uh, which was about an hour away from the hotel, um, and kind of have a beach day, but uh, the weather was turning a little sour. Um, so when they got back from the pool, we went to go get some lunch, and the weather did get worse. We got a lot of rain in Orlando, got really windy, um, but they wanted a chance in any way since the weather report from Cocoa Beach said it was only isolated showers. So we got out there. And, uh, yeah, it, uh, it was definitely overcast and a little windy, but um, no rain. It was perfectly serviceable. A lot of people were out on the beach. That said, Cocoa Beach, we, we went out to the Cocoa Beach Pier, and uh, that is, it is awful. It is awful. There's, like, the public use facilities, like, there's no changing facility. The bathrooms are microscopically small and awful. Um, it's the filthiest beach I've ever seen in my life. I, I saw an honest-to-God hypodermic needle and beer cans. They were just a terrible, terrible place. Would never go there again. But, um, yeah, so that's Cocoa Beach. Fuck that noise. So what happened is uh, when we were leaving Cocoa Beach, uh, now between Orlando and Cocoa Beach, there's this section of the highway, and I swear to God, this is not a, a, a sarcastic exaggeration. This, I'm being quite literal. There is a stretch of the highway where there is three separate toll booths about maybe five miles apart from each other. And they're building a fourth one a little bit further down the road. So the first toll booth is like 75 cents. The second one's like a dollar. The second one's like two dollars. It, it's bullshit. Like, make the first guy just take, you know, three bucks or five dollars or whatever it is. Um, it's bullshit. So, you know, we get to the last booth and I'm like, look, man, not to be an asshole, but we only brought so much change. Like, how many more of these booths are there to Coco Beach, you know? At any rate, we had, had utilized most of our toll money coming up and then on this trip. So, I said to the missus, we need to stop at the bank and uh, get some cash for toll booths on the way back. So when we finished at the beach, um, I set the GPS to take us to a Sun Trust, and we pulled up to the Sun Trust, and the car, we get as far as the ATM machine, and the car dies. Uh, it, it won't start. It's acting like a dead battery. Um, you know, it just doesn't have enough juice to charge. Uh, insult to injury, the ATM was out of money, so we couldn't even do that. So we are now um, over an hour from our hotel room in a strange city. We know no one in the state, and the car's dead. Now, I think I expressed a little bit in this video. I've been out of work for a little while. I just started uh, doing some work again part-time, but I haven't even gotten my first check from that. Um, money's been pretty slim. Uh, we... Wouldn't have even come on this trip, but the wife planned it ages ago before I was out of work. And it's one of those things where, um, you know, canceling the, the reservation, they, they're not going to refund your money or anything. So we figured we'd just as well go. Um, you know, we were just going to come to the hotel and swim and, you know, forego Universal Studios, which was part of the original plan because of the ticket cost. Uh, we were able to get a little bit of money uh, together together. Uh, from my wife's parents to do tickets for Universal before we left. That was very generous of them, um, and I appreciated that. Uh, so we were going to do that, but, I mean, really had practically no budget going into this. We had a little bit of money, you know, for food and that sort of thing, but we're not expecting car trouble. So a gentleman pulled up and helped me push uh, the car at least out of the way of the ATM thing. And we start trying to figure out what to do, because at this point, it's, uh, you know, almost 8 o'clock on a Saturday night, um, you know, in a place we don't know. So, uh, apparently, our insurance provider has a, an allowance for 
you know, roadside assistance type thing. So we got on the phone with them, and uh, the woman we spoke to was able to find, first off, a wrecker with an extended cab that could seat three people with a company that would be willing to tow the car to a repair shop closer to the hotel so that we wouldn't be stranded in Cocoa Beach and having to try and find another hotel. Um, and the shop obviously was closed by this point. So we ended up being stuck in the bank parking lot until well, it, was, it was pretty late. Um, oh, yeah, while we were waiting there, uh police department pulled up, you know, and uh, want to know what was going on. Apparently someone that tried to go through the ATM while we were stuck there uh, saw my daughter playing her Nintendo DS and called the cops claiming that the ATM wasn't working and he thought it was because some people were parked in the pa uh, parking lot with a laptop hacking the ATM. So he came to check that out. That was entertaining. And then, um, you know, the wrecker eventually did show up and took us to the Firestone. Uh, it was 90-something dollars uh, for the wrecker service. Then when we dropped it off at Firestone, we had to take a cab uh, an additional 10, 15 miles to the hotel, um, which ended up being about $40. And so that was that. So that was a lot of money. We called the uh, repair shop this morning to let them know that we had dropped the car off, let them know what had happened, and uh, you know that we needed to see what it would cost to get the repairs done. Thinking it's, you know, battery gave up the ghost because it's old, couldn't take a charge anymore, or, you know, perhaps the alternator died. I'm not a car guy. I'm not a gearhead at all, so I, I really have no idea one way or the other uh, when things go wrong with a car. Um, so we did that. And uh, the plan for the day was uh, we were going to take our, our first day at Universal. Um, as I said, we had already bought... Uh, the discounted tickets when we went to the timeshare thing. Otherwise, we would have just aborted that and held on to the cash because, you know, these unforeseen repairs are, are definitely problematic. Uh, so we went to Universal. Um, we were there pretty much all day. It was a lovely time with the family. Um, as I said, this is one of the first vacations we've taken in a while. I was actually looking forward to because I've always wanted to go to Universal. And, uh, yeah, had, had a nice time there. On the way out, we still had not heard from the repair shop, um, and it's about 5.30-something uh, at this point. So I call him, and I say, hey, you know, I'm checking on the status of the, uh, the Saturn. And what he said basically was that the air compressor had seized up, uh, which obviously is why the air conditioner had died. Uh, because the Saturn is a single belt system, basically there's one belt that runs everything, when the compressor seized up, uh, the belt could not turn. Because the belt couldn't turn, it couldn't power the alternator. The alternator could not power the battery, so the battery died, and we can't do anything. He tells me that because it's Sunday, he can't get prices for repair parts, but that what he's going to have to do is replace the compressor, which, as I said in a previous video, I know is very expensive, uh, so that he can just crank the car to find out if the alternator still functions. The battery itself is definitely dead and has to be replaced. Uh, he says without the parts list, he can't give me a proper estimate, but that it would probably be at least $800. Um, we have to fix the compressor. Apparently, there's there's no way to bypass it on this or, in fact, most modern vehicles. So, yeah, eight hundred dollars is uh, is more than we expected to have to pay, and uh, it's really more than we have right now. I've been on the phone trying to see if uh, first off, if if this guy was full of shit, if that's factual, if there's any way around it, um, and then uh, you know we're gonna have to. See what we can do about scratching some money together. So, for now, we're still officially stranded in uh, Orlando, um, but we're supposed to be here for another three days, so we'll see what happens. Um, I'm calling some of the auto parts shops around here local to see if we could pick up the parts ourselves cheaper uh, than what this guy can get factory. They claimed it would take at least four days to get the parts, so that doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence. Um... So that's where we are. 
Uh, hopefully this will all get resolved in one way or another, but uh, it's it's definitely been uh, been fun. Uh, definitely an adventurous and vacation. So that's that. Uh, at any rate, we got the shuttle back from Universal to the hotel. I took a much needed and I feel deserved shower uh, since as a fat man trudging through Orlando heat um, for several hours is a, is a sure recipe for filth and sweat. So that was that. And uh, I guess we'll see what tomorrow brings when this place opens and uh, they get back to us with the price list. Thankfully, I was able to talk to a mechanic friend of mine back home that seems to think that, uh, you know, obviously the guy's not full of shit, but um, he said, yeah, to do the proper job the way most repair shops would, that's what it costs. He said, however, you know, you can tell the guy just get a rebuilt or cheap AutoZone compressor instead of a, you know, official Saturn unit um, to put that in there not to charge the unit with Freon, not to change the uh, collection thing and, and all this stuff to, to hopefully skim some of the costs down. And, uh, you know, we'll just drive back home with no air conditioner uh, and, until we can, uh, you know, get the money together to get it fixed. But, um, yeah, even that still probably going to be uh, $400, I'm sure, at least. So we'll see. But, um, so that's that. Oh, also, I didn't mention this. This is fucking swell. Um, in a previous video, I mentioned that we went out Chinese one night. What I had forgotten to mention, um, since I was a little out of it when I made the video, was that I managed to crack the shit, or not crack, but chip the shit out of two of my teeth during that meal. Um, apparently, I misjudged depth and bit into something on my fork and caught the edge of the tine uh, with uh, my teeth right here, right here, and chipped the shit out of them, so... Now that feels weird and is irritating me, and that's all I need is for my teeth to look even more fucked up, ladies, on the catch. So, there we are. This is Travelog Day, uh, I guess this would be, uh, 3 slash 4, 2 slash 3, I don't know, I can't keep up. When I get home, I need to retitle these so they make sense, but, uh, there we are. So, hope your weekend's going more smoothly than mine, kids, and, uh, we'll possibly see you tomorrow. That's a real out.